But this time you have a little bit of help from a Thundercross Wrath, and you have ridiculous burst from your team. Nice dodge. Yeah, but... But it might lead to more. Astro steps onto two heroes for BZM. Thompson Very doing as much burst as the can, but a static storm to try and punish BZM, but he gets on the outskirts. We'll dissimulate to safety now, but the safety is the arms of pure instead. That's a one for one. One for two, in fact. Two supports dead for Tundra. The Eclipse comes out from Tomato. Some good hits onto Thompson, who eventually takes out. Now, OG, you can see the Stampede coming in. Toby gets one last double edge, but dies shortly after Tomato, claiming that for himself is pure. A very late God Strength is used. I'm trying to find Whisper in the tree line. Warcry to give him some extra move speed. Getting Fog of Ward out of control right now. Oh, he canceled the nightmare from I Seth? I think it was Radiance. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely not the same Bane. He's in trouble. Takes out the cheese. Gets glimpsed back as the last oh. roll immediately canceled because that's the death of Nine Class. Bolt is there from Thompson to finish off step. Eclipse on top of Pure inside the static zone. Popping the BKB and the Warcry. Trying to get away. Uses his Storm Hammer on the creeps to get away. Beautifully done. And now the rest of Tundra on the run as Thompson, or Toby, I should say, comes in with a nice hook stomp. Finds two kills in the end. Glimpse back on the Tomato inside the kinetic field. And Pure finishes the job. Tag teaming it off here. Pure's going to pop the God Strength. And uh, Whisper will have to get out of his Primal Split immediately. And now he's just going to be left to die. Yeah, that ain't it, Whisper. Oh, my. He cannot be happy about that. That is just... Just flat out out of position, insta punish. Tomato, initially getting gone on. BZM getting a little bit crazy on the low ground. He's gonna get lassoed in the midst of things. That's just two supports. He can use the static storm as well as Tomato make his way over. And you can see Pure popping the BKB, using the storm hand to try to get away from this eclipse. He'll do so successfully. Now Tomato and company on the run is Ari. He's kind of stuck in no man's land. Pure and company surrounding him, but it's Tomato who we're watching. He's very low on HP, trying to get something out of his life. I don't know if they got a torment for this game, did they? Or is that stolen from OG? I don't remember. Glimpse. Tomato's fine. Where is he? Lasso. Okay, lasso initiation. Tomato's in a lot of trouble. Pure with the BKB. He's going to get gripped, though. Has the God Strength up, and that's the death of Sven. Nice turnaround from OG. As Toby on the back line getting gone on by Tomato. He's going to use the Eclipse to try to finish him off, and he does so. Three dead for Tundra. And you can see Mr. Thompson lifted in the air and props in. They're going to let uh, Tomato again. Yeah, they will. They will. This, of course, would be the Aegis if they find it. No stop. Double edge. Down goes Aegis. Can they disengage? Do they want to disengage? Whisper with the BKB. No primal split as of now, though. Four seconds away. Pure in the trees. DM gets a nice eighth and remnant onto Thompson. Pure has to pop his BKB. There's the grip. Instantly canceled, though, as Tomato continuing on doing a lot of damage, but the Storm Hammer onto the pandas on the other side. But Pure is not going to be able to get away this time. 80 seconds on the deck. Ari will die to the double edge from Toby. You can see Tundra very low on HP, now all disengaging. Thompson on the run. Glimpse, BZM. We suddenly got Hags, Lens, and Dagger? This is Dota, Cinderin. All right. Days pure. Had to use his BKB on the retreat. Whisper, though. Go. He's going to get glimpsed, but the BKB comes out, and BZM finds the spin in the trees. Nine class not going to be able to help. But again, pure takes a tumble. 80 seconds. Out the buyback. This is a Luna line. Oh, you can get out. Absolutely. Get that base tower. Buys a blink again. A static storm is used pretty successfully. That is going to be the death of. What? Yep, Seth does die eventually. Toby gets off the blade now, but he's taking a beating. And BZM and company able to get that really easily. Top up once and paid so dearly. And now Seb with an interesting oh, position here. My goodness. Grip from the high ground. It's still going because of the illusions. Eclipse is there. Pure is dead. Wow. What a pickoff. Set up by Seb again. 85 seconds of no spend. White Mon is dead. Does have the buyback as nine class. Able to get out for now, but he's going to be spotted. Lucent Beam with the Conda. Blink to follow from Tomato. BKB from nine class. Onto the high ground. They don't lose the vision, though. The Lucent Beam. 
to the spin that made all the difference. Yep, now tops that. Tops in. In a lot of trouble. Stormhammer's coming for you. Ups and dead. That's not Stormhammer. That's uh, correct. The opposite team, Cinderin. Yep. Just keeping you on your toes. Primal split. Comes out. Insta grip cancel. Yep, set. Inside the static storm. Gonna try to get away, but Toby's there with a double edge. Zeus and company will live through another day. Pops okay, and buying back there. Awkward. Stormhammer coming in. Look at the cleave from Pure. Two dead immediately from OG. The defense will be successful for now as Thompson was getting gone on by Whisper. Only in his Earth Panda form now will blink away. We have the TP for a bit, but BKB is up and the TP away. BZM now. Well, spotted by this never-ending thunderstorm. <laughs> they will always have vision on him. He will die eventually here. Eventually, Night Class gets the better of him. The oh, wait. is exposed. Oh, I've seen this clip on Reddit. It was in 2K MMR, though. But <laughs> the creeps are doing it. The dragon is losing. <laughs> Tomato's letting them know that their throne is dying. And <laughs> They got him for tops and inbound. 100 gold to go. Oh, it's so close. Oh, he really wants this for this fight. So close yet so far. It's just a little bit. Nine class is going to block his big camp. <laughs> nope, he got out in time. <laughs> he has it, don't worry. Right. BKB from Whisper. Toby's the only one here, though. Will you stampede to try and get away? Primal split activated. And while Tomato. Gets forced out his BKB actually. In the middle of they nowhere. get the stun onto Thompson in a lot of trouble. He's getting lifted in the air as well. The primal split doing a lot of work as Thompson does fall first. No buyback either. And now Ari taking the breath of the damage from Pure and Company. Trying to do as much damage as he can before he goes out as Pure. Getting a lot of lifesteal out as well. BZM with the Astral Step is going to take a storm hammer to the face and gets taken out swiftly as a result. And now Pure and Company trying to focus everything onto Tomato. Down goes the Luna and somehow Tundra are winning this fight. Whisper goes down next. Double kill for Pure. Three buybacks from OG. And you see the Earth Panda not even touching a building here. To come back out of the form, pops the BKB. There's a static storm under several here. The nice little stump as well, but the damage on this spend is too much. Down goes pure, buys back instantly. Toby had the blade mail, but it's not enough to survive. Three buybacks now from Tundra. Which forces he, was he wasn't he wasn't the one placing the ward either. He just went out too far. No, he does buy back. There's the bruise split again. Toby trying to contain them, but the tier three tower is dead. The barracks completely isolated. Now look at how fast the ranger actually down steps. Going in for the grip, gets it up onto the spin. All of the right clicks onto him, but he's able to get off his ult and the BKB. Getting back to full HP thanks to the satanic, but now it's run out. Trying to run away back to his base. Static storm to give him some time. Whisper. You get the mega creeps, and now trying to turn this around onto the Luna, but Tomato is living through this just barely, but no, finally will fall as nine class of all heroes getting that kill, and now the Luna dies next. And now the hook stops onto the brew. The fourth hero kills for OG. And is it even, is it worth oh, giving up? Brew, yeah. brew for the Megas. We're gonna go for it. Primal split. Buyback from Bane immediately trying to hold everybody in the pit area. Roach is already low. Tomato looks like he's gonna be able to claim all of the goodies inside of them like a big juicy pinata. Static Storm, the Gaven Static Storm in fact, being used as Tomato kind of left his own device. He won't pop the refresher. He's very low on HP. He falls death number one for him. He picked up the ages previously. The Nightmare onto Pure, he's gonna get silenced now. Tomato's gonna pop the BKB, Pure pops his refresher, and he's gonna be able to kill off the Void Spirit as the Ancient is still exposed. Megas are on the side of OG. Double buyback now from OG. Looks like everybody's gonna get out of dodge now. As White Mon, well, he'll have to go. If Whisper's given any space, he can solo this Ancient for sure. He's gonna start it off. Remember, no fortification at all. But they're back already. Yep, static Storm used. That's a lot of damage being applied to Luna. Dead is Tomato. He buys back his Ari focusing everything on the engine itself. But Whisper's the one doing the most of the damage. He's going to get cleaned up. But back to his brute form. Down it's the refresher coming out again. Does he have enough? No, he's going to get Storm bolted in the face. And now it's just the Earth Panda surviving. So not able to get anything out of this second oh, primal split. Now, now he's in his regular form. They won't chase any further, it looks like. I mean, Seer Stone. I mean, obviously, we don't know what his choices were. Yeah. He's right. spotted. Oh. Okay. Was that? No. Able to get 
He can BKB TT. What's going on? I'm BZM. I said I have to use his BKB. Is that Bash? Aether Remnant not going to connect anybody. Has to use a refresher and the Astro to the other side. Oh, they have so much still. gaze. Lasso finds him inside the kinetic field, but to dissimilate. In place, apparently. Astro step now to the north. Glimpse back. They have so much ways. So many ways. And this one will have the Agonims. Which at this stage, who doesn't have Ags? That would be good on. Uh, Marcy? Marcy Lance? No, she's the only one. Oh, true. Yes. Oh, true. You get another Earth Pan to try to take out the, the buildings. It's, oh, Static Storm, he's pure dashly decimating BZM. He falls immediately. But the Aegis is taken by OG. Lasso now onto Tomato, trying to turn around very slowly thanks to the sticky napalm. Try to focus their efforts onto Toby, but he gets off the Wind Waker, but they find the Fiend's Grip onto Thompson. Refresher from Tomato, that is the death of Thompson, instantly buys back. I'm trying to counteract this, a second Lasso from Nine Class, this time onto Ari. Trying to find somebody, but everyone is just keeping their distance. There's Tomato. We'll try to go on top of this spend against the Stormhammer off onto Ari, and that is the death of Ari now. And Aegis gone as well. This might be the beginning of the end for OG, potentially, if Tamano just getting beat into oblivion, pops the BKB, but to no avail. Fishing for info. Not gonna catch any stragglers with Glimpse, though. I say that. Okay, maybe Seb is in trouble, yeah, actually. Cursed, as usual, Seb. He's gonna get lassoed in, but here comes Tomato. Pure doing so much damage to Seb. Finishes him off. Gets to the high ground, thanks to those force boots now. Whisper able to get off his Brulee in time. Buyback now onto Seb. The Brulings continuing to surround Seb with the BKB. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying that out loud. Pure in a bit of trouble, getting controlled a decent amount thanks to Whisper. Stormhammer is going to be dodged. The BZM Astro step to the north will pop his refresher. And Pure now on the run, pretty low on mana. He's just getting kited. That nice. Lucent Beam doing so much damage, he is dead, and the Ancient surrounded by creeps. The Thompson one should be a confirmed dieback, right? It's been divine on Pure. Four minutes. There's six minutes on the Disruptor. They have oh, to know. His courier just got killed with the Divine. Oh, that happens. Okay. <laughs> that means Ari has a Divine <laughs> All right. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's a nice little uh, oh, 6,000. Oh, he hits for 1,040 now. <laughs> All right. I think the Ancient can be killed off easily, aside from this fortification. This is taking OG quite long. 40 seconds? Yeah, they're doing the math with the Divine. Like, okay, with the Divine Raper, maybe that's enough damage. Silence on the BZM is going to force out his BKB. Astro step to follow. Ancient at half HP. Nine class has to use his BKB now. It's pure with the God Shrine. He gets lifted into the air. Last one oh, the BZM into the fountain. He's able to get to the other side. Fortifications finally pop, and now the Eclipse comes out. They can likely just focus down the Ancient now. And OG, in exciting fashion, will take game number two. We'll just blame it on pure dropping the Divine Rapier on the Courier.